All right, to build our app is super, super simple. Just let me change this thing because I fucked it. Yeah, we're good. So to build the app, if not loaded to do, sorry. To build the app, this is super, super simple because um, of Expo, all right? Expo is a super, super nice thing to have when you want to build the app. If you didn't have Expo, you will have to deal with Android Studio, you will have to deal with Xcode, and it's a pain in the ass. Now, to install Expo, um, sorry, to build with Expo, you cannot do it just yet with um, the interface, like with this thing, all right? You will need to install the command line interface of Expo. So to do this, you're going to do yarn or npm global add exp. And then it's gonna give you the, this is gonna give you the command line that you need to work with expo. Now, if you do exp, you can do a lot of stuff with exp, but what I want to do is I want to say exp, all right? And I want to say, uh, where is it? Build build Android. Build Android. All right, it says that there is no previous builds, building iOS, publishing. It builds iOS bundle, not because I said so, but because it's going to first of all publish it into the public expo links all right because right now this is living here all right it needs to publish it to the cloud to the expo servers i'm going to pause here because this sometimes takes a while and before that sorry there we go because i know there's subtitles and sometimes you guys get fucked by the subtitles so sorry about that as you can see here it says building iOS bundle and here is boy it's actually building it. so we're gonna wait and we I will see you when this is done see you soon all right and our first error arises but this is not the end as you can see here we are publishing something called kawaii to do and this is going to the expo host now our first error arises because we didn't do something that we must do and what we must do here is that we need to create a new key called Android this is on the app.json, all right? And on the Android, we need to specify the package name. It's a little bit like what the fuck, but we need to specify the package name. And in this case, we're gonna call the package. And basically what people do is that they use packages name, package package names, holy shit. They use package names um, with their domain name. So in this case, I'm gonna do co nomad coders kawaii. And this is in the reverse way. It's a little bit fucked up. All you have to know is that you need to as get give a package name to your um, to your Kawaii to do thing. So I'm going to do X build Android again. And while this is doing it, I want to explain to you why Expo is awesome. If you haven't heard me before, now Expo is awesome because what you're going to do here is that you're going to build the app, right? And this app is going to go to the App Store. Okay, but whenever you want to make an update, you don't need to do this again, all right? You need to do this just once when you create the app. Later, if I change my code, all you have to do is publish, and this change is going to be reflected in the app on the App Store, all right? So basically what you're building here, it's a Expo client app, but only with your app. And whenever this app starts, it calls the Expo servers that have your code and executes the React Native code, right? So this means that whenever you publish something, whenever you publish a change, your app, this app, is also going to look to the same code that you just published. So you don't have to go to the App Store again. Um, as you can see here, it says that the build is started. Build ID is blah, blah, blah. Run X build status to monitor it. I'm going to say x build status to monitor it checking if the current build exists and it says it's in progress i'm going to pause here and i'm going to come back in five minutes and run again x build status and see what happens but just uh yeah remember that that's why expo is super cool that's what i use it because whenever you build your app you're basically building an expo client inside 
And whenever this app starts, it's going to get the newest version of your code. And this is possible because we are working with React Native and React Native is JavaScript, so you can get it over the air. That's what it's called an update over the air. You don't have to go through the app store. Awesome. I'm gonna pause and I will see you when my Android build finishes. See you soon. All right, so I just did um, X build status and now it says Android APK and I'm just gonna copy the whole thing, right? And I'm gonna go to my Google Chrome and I'm gonna paste it and I should get a download. So this download is 26 megabytes and that's it. This is how you build it. And this is how you um, build apps for Android. That's easy. Then all you have to do is go to the developer console of Google and just upload the thing. Take some screenshots and upload it. I'm gonna download this thing here and when it's done, I'm just gonna open it to see how it works on Android because I, I just installed an Android simulator and that's it. As you can see, it's super simple. The process is very similar in iOS. In iOS, you need a couple of passwords and stuff, but that's, that's all it is. Um, <clears throat> something that I didn't tell you is that when we did, I just checked a lot here, when we did uh, the build part, all right, it didn't ask me, but it might ask you about handling the keys some key store or some stuff like that, all right? Now, don't worry about this, but you can, you just select that Expo will handle your keys. If you see this, uh, this uh, option here, you select Expo handle your keys, okay? In my case, it didn't ask me because I did this, I, I built many apps with Expo before, that's what I didn't ask me this, but remember this, you say Expo will handle my keys, all right? Before I install the app, I want to test if I can open it on my Android first because this is we have the APK, but I want to test it if I can open it on my Android. All right, so I have a simulator here running. This is a Google Pixel something something. I'm just gonna say device and open an Android. I'm gonna pause, and when this is opened, I'll come back. A and uh, what happened when I opened it is that I'm saying is that it says uh, an error, it says object values called on a non object, and this is because when the app starts for the first time on the phone, it won't be able to find to-dos. So to-dos will be equals to no, right? So this will be to-dos. The problem is that I cannot do object values no, because here is when it's, it's saying that I cannot call object values on something that is not an object. And in this case, no, it's not an object, all right? So I have to, to make a special case for this where I'm going to say, get the to-dos and if you don't find them, I'm gonna say or empty object. So this is what I'm going to do basically, all right? And this is because at the first time that the app starts, there is no key called to-dos, all right? So it's no. Later on, even if you delete all of the to-dos, um, what you're going to have here is going to be an empty object. So object values here is going to work, all right? So the first time is the one that might give you a problem, okay? So I'm gonna uh, save here and let's see what happens. Wait for a bit. And as you can see, it works, all right? Now I'm going to tap here and as you can see here, there is an underline and this is because of Android, all right? Android gives underlines to my object. This is because of the keyboard stuff of my simulator. But Android, Android gives um, underlines to my inputs, but this is not happening in um, my iOS. So what I have to do here is on the text inputs, I will say Android, underline color Android, this one, underline color Android, and I will say transparent, all right? And I will do the same thing on my to-do. And my text input on the to-do will have the same thing. Where is the text input? This one, all right underline color on Android. And now here, I'm just gonna refresh and we'll see how it goes. And it is working now, no underline. And I'm saving and it's working, perfect. All right, now there is a problem. The problem is that we built my, our, my APK, I built it, but I didn't build it with this. Right, and I didn't build it with this, and also I didn't build it with this uh, option. So that's not good, because if I go and install it now, it's going to freeze, it's not going to work, all right? 
But the good thing about Expo is that when you build the app, you're not building the code, all right? You're not building this code on the APK. What you are building is like an Expo client that every time it opens, it will download the new version of your code. And that's why we can update APKs and we can update the apps on the iOS and the iOS app store because we don't have to build it again for every time we make a change. And this is the best part of all, that I don't want to have to build it and send it for approval and wait two days and all that stuff to fix something as small as the underlying color of the text input. So, all right? so that's why Expo is super cool, because when you build Expo, you build an app that is basically an Expo client, but only for you, that will always download the newest version of the code that you have on the expo servers so what i have to do here is i just have to say publish and it's going to publish everything it's going to publish the ui the ios bundle and the android bundle and here when i go i'm going to exit the expo client and when i open kawaii to do right kawaii to do is going to get the latest um code bundle and it's going to update with the changes that I just did here. So I'm going to wait until this finishes and we are going to open the APK that is here. Uh, to install the APK, all I did was to come here, do downloads, this is the APK, where the fuck is it, here? And I just dragged it, all right? This is on my Jenny Motion simulator, new simulator will be different, and that's it. So I'm going to wait here and I'll see you when it's done. All right, so now that it says published to whatever, it means that our app that I have installed on my simulator, the one that I built before, this one, should now listen to the newest version of the code. So I'm going to open Kawaii to do. Let's go. And there we go. It is working, and as you can see, Kawaii to do doesn't have the underline. You see? Because Kawaii to do is downloading the latest code from the Expo servers and that's why expo is super super cool so yeah hello and it is working everything's all right delete and we're good so this is it for this course as you can see we built something an apk and we installed it on an android phone it doesn't have any of the expo bullshit outside it's a kawaii to do with the icon we did and with the um splash screen with that we did and everything so thank you for watching i hope you had fun and see you on the other courses that we've got on the Nomad Academy. Bye-bye.